Hi, welcome back to The Roundtable. I'm your host, and today's episode will be talking about the second episode of Season 3 of Star Trek Picard. Um, if you haven't seen it, there are going to be a few spoilers here, so I do recommend that you wait a little while before watching this review. Now that I said that, here we go. The episode, called Disengage, is brought up into two parts, two different stories, like the first, uh, first episode. First is dealing with Rafi and her search for the terrorists who have destroyed a star fleet facility with weapons taken from the Daystrom Institute. Second one is, of course, Riker and Picard, who go on to this mission to rescue Beverly. So with Rafi, we'll start off with Rafi. Um, good good thing she's still going after the terrorists. I you know it's but she it's coming at a cost of her not be able to having a relationship with her son. And you can see that's weighing heavily, but she's choosing the mission you know, for the greater good, right? The needs of the one, many outweigh the needs of the one kind of thing, right? Um, pretty good. Um, the nice little surprise is that we find out her handler is actually Worf, and he comes in and he's, you know, with his Klingon weapon and chopping off heads, and I thought that was a real kick-ass scene, and I enjoyed that. So Rafi's story was pretty good, enjoyed it. As for Picard... Picard um, and Riker, Jack and Beverly, who they think their their time is up, gets rescued by the Titan, who again jump in and and go through the tractor beam and save Picard, bring him aboard, transport him in, bring Beverly to you know of course to the medic unit, and Picard tries to go and figure out who Jack is and what the, this villain that we're introduced to, who's called. Vatic, who is played by Amanda Plummer, who is the daughter of Christopher Plummer, who played, and Christopher Plummer, if anybody doesn't know, played General Chang in Undiscovered Country. The only, you know, so that was a nice little twist, a nice little connection between these two, you know, father, daughter playing in Star Trek. The only thing that would have made it a little sweeter if Vatic would have quoted Shakespeare like Chang did, that would have been a little, nice little nudge, but you can't have it all, right? Um, pretty good episode. Picard kind of talks to, to Jack, try to get a feel for him, find out why Vatic is, is, is after him. And he, and he finds out he's kind of like a freedom fighter. And, you know, they have their little tension. And, you know, and Picard kind of says, I know who Beverly is. And Jack kind of responds, do you? So does Picard really know her? What, you know, what's happened in 20 years, you know? So that was great. The thing that really got me on this particular side with the Picard storyline was the scene where... Riker revives Beverly and brings her to the bridge. The look between Beverly and Picard, and when Picard comes to the full realization that Jack is indeed his son, and he stops him from going onto Vatic's ship. You know, he pulls rank and says, you know, we're not doing it. So you know there's gonna be a you know he pulls rank and, and, and gets it and gets saves his son. Thought that was great. But the scene between Beverly and, and Jean Luc was phenomenal that was the kicker for me that sold that episode for me and i really enjoyed that all in all a great episode a couple of great easter eggs there enjoyed it my only minor quibble with this is when they jump from rafi to picard or picard to rafi whichever you're looking at the editing the the, the transition between the two is choppy in my opinion doesn't flow there's something there's like this weird moment where it changes and you kind of go eh, you know but that's that's a minor quibble the rest the story is great the characters are great i'm enjoying this this seems to be a worthy season of the name picard because i said for me personally the first two seasons of picard were kind of hit and miss and i was kind of disappointed or, you know a little underwhelmed maybe on them but as much as I enjoyed Picard season one and two, like I said, underwhelming. But this seems to be returning them back to the classic Trek. But yet, there's always these nods to the original series, which is odd. Odd but good. I didn't think I'd like that, but I am. So all in all, a great episode. I'm thinking this. They're, so far they're staying on track. It's it's great trek in my opinion, and I hope they continue this for the for the remainder of the season and end off the next generations. If it is indeed their final mission together, hopefully it ends on a great note, and I think it will be. This so far it's very promising for me. I've enjoyed this, but let me know what you think. We'd love to hear from you. Smash that like button. This is Stephen from the Roundtable wishing you 
a great day and live long and prosper.